defeat on this ground in the Premiership back in October behind them and hope their team can do the same. And they've been encouraged by the team news they've heard from the Manchester United camp. Andy Cole, who scored a hat-trick against Barnsley that day, is one of several United players either injured, suspended or rested. Even his potential replacement, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, went down with a stomach bug today. So another Norwegian, Eric Nevlin, 20 years old, makes his first start up front. Skulls and Butt are suspended. Gary Neville and David Beckham are substitutes. Phil Neville plays in midfield. Barnsley are not at full strength either. Darren Barnard and Darren Sheridan are both suspended. Jan Arga Fjertoft is cup tied. So 34-year-old John Hendry partners Ashley Ward, scorer of some important goals recently, and it's a big day for defender Chris Morgan. He was 20 on Friday and starts only his fourth senior game. And as referee Mike Riley prepares to start this cup tie, what are your thoughts, David Pleat, on this understrength Manchester United team? Well, certainly Barnes will need little motivation, apart from trying to overturn that big early season reverse. They'll be buoyed by the fact that United have the key men missing, and really, Barnsley have been improving and United have been stuttering, so maybe a far greater opportunity this afternoon than initially suggested when the draw was made. Mickey Eden, the right wing back, feeding Bullock. And here comes Hendry, Ward's in the centre waiting, it's John Hendry for Barnsley. And Redfern's coming in as well, the header clears for a corner. There's good play by Hendry and he did look up, but at the back post, Ashley Ward and Christian, the fullback, was coming in too. They were at spare men right deep, but a good break by Hendry. And uh, Dezeo is forward for the corner, as well as Christian. And Ward is waiting to come in as well. It's too long for Ward. And it was uh, headed by Bozancic initially. Here's Moses. McClare. Giggs with Redfern. Free kick to United. Irwin to Giggs. Looking for Neverland. Showing him on the far side. Others closer to him, like McClare here. Irwin. Oh, well, I think Pallister got caught on the Achilles there by Ashley Ward. This is going to be a booking, I think, David. They yeah, certainly caught him in the lower calf and really there was nothing to be gained by Ward making that tackle in, in that position at all. But it's interesting up front, uh, Hendry, who was quite a quick player certainly when he was younger, is playing against Berg and Ashley Ward, who's better in the air, is playing against Pallister. I wonder if they've got... It's waiting for the pullback, so is Sheringham and he didn't reach either of them. Fine forward run by Jonsson, but I have to say, looks suspiciously offside when that ball was delivered. Gets to the byline, a slightly wide angle and tremendous covering there at the near post. He was trying to pick out Ryan Giggs, but I agree with you. I think Barnsley would have had a case there for saying, why wasn't there a flag? Anyway, it's a corner to Manchester United. Berg is up, so is Jonsson, so is Pallister. And Berg's in the heart of the action there. And it's still not really away and almost off the line and still it's not clear and Watson the goalkeeper did well really to hold his position and let it all <laughs> evolve in front of him Dezeo in fact was by Sheringham and as the ball comes into McClare they've got a man over here McClare Giggs Sheringham Jonsson wants it gets it to Irwin Giggs by McClare, Nevelin's there, two defenders with him, a real old scramble at corner results. Well, a nice fast in swinging cross there with his right foot delivered by Giggs, there you see the sandwich at the back post, which caused the appeals from the crowd behind the goal there. That was for handball against Morgan there appealing David, his arm was up as he jumped, uh, but he's got away with it.
Giggs is going to take the corner with his left foot from the far side. Sheringham looking to get into that uh, near post area that he often does from these. And in fact, that's exactly the corner they play, but it went behind him. And it's come back again now with Neville. That's intended for Neveland. It's too long. There, he can! And Barnsley have taken the lead! A catastrophe for the Manchester United captain and goalkeeper. And John Henry is the beneficiary. Oh, well, if Schmeichel's made a worse mistake than that in his career, I'd be surprised. It's a simple enough back pass. He's well out of his goal and he slices it with his right foot. And John Henry gets there first. And Barnsley have taken the lead in the 38th minute. Well, I'm just surprised that Schmeichel tried to take the ball on the bounce. I think he could have taken the pace off the ball before delivering it. But of course, the man is so certain and so super confident of everything he does. He sliced it. Henry, despite his age, I think he's something like how old John now? 34. 34 years old. He was still sprightly enough to get onto that ball first. Schmeichel will have his head in his towel at half-time. Alex will be urging them on now. It's such a vital psychological time. Just before half-time, if ever they wanted a spring in the step, if ever they wanted to be roused at half-time, well, they've got the per perfect medicine. Magnificent anticipation by David Watson has saved the day for Barnsley. Here they are on the attack with Nicky Eden. Well, that was nearly a case of deja vu. Tale of two goalkeepers, but Watson excelled himself, David. And indeed, the quickest player on the field, arguably, Grind Giggs, was the man who was given that opportunity to get there before Dave Watson. Splendid reading of the game by Watson. And the score remains Manchester. And it's Sheringham! Right on cue, and no one more relieved in the ground than Peter Schmeichel. Well, once again, wonderful build-up play. There we see it. Giggs is producing all sorts of flicks and clever touches. But once Sheringham saw the whites of the post, he knew he didn't have to power it. He was going to place it. Cool as you like. Splendid finish, but what impetuosity. What cleverness by Giggs. Yes, Sheringham's goal, Giggs pass, Giggs who spurned a chance a moment earlier when Watson had come to meet him. But it's back all square now. Schmeichel's error for the moment is wiped out. And it's 1-1 at Old Trafford. And it's Beckham. And it's Clegg now. Oh, and Giggs has stolen in from the far side. Well, he had a nice target to aim at Giggs there. He timed his run beautifully. And it was a lovely ball in. And Watson held it relatively comfortably. But he had a nice target. In behind the defenders here, John Edry. Good block in the end, but he caught them out initially. Terrific tracking there by young Clegg. Henry got a yard. Good start. There you see Clegg coming across. Tremendous blocking. Moses forward. So is Krishan. And that's Krishan's header. And still not really away. That's Bozancic. Put it into the centre. Oh, it went behind Sheringham. And that just enabled Morgan to clear. Once again, wonderful invention by that man Giggs. Look at that. And Pallister doing the sensible thing, pulling the ball back. Fine run, that's clever football, an elastic clearance. Berg and Palace are looking to come in on the corner here. Oh, and they both got there at the same moment. It's gone out for another corner. Challenge was by Phil Neville, he took the ball, says the referee. Play goes on. And that passes to Jordi Cruyff. And Giggs has made a striking run inside, but Cruyff was brought down. It's a free kick. Barnsley is saying, what about the one at the other end to the referee? And somebody said too much. It's a real riveting game now. Delicately poised. Here we see that uh, lovely little touch. And Schmeichel doing as Watson's done so well at the other end, coming out and taking that ball. Lovely return pass by Henry. 
It was Basancic, wasn't it, who, who gave it and then went for the return. Yeah, it was indeed. This is Bullock, and he's got two to his right. Ashley Ward is one of them, Hendry's the other. He probably... Oh, it's Bullock again. And this time he's found Hendry. Oh, what a chance that was. A glaring opportunity for Barnsley to perhaps win this cup tie. Well, Hendry, the hero of the first half, villain there. Great opportunity, a little bit fortunate to come back. Bullock did well, wonderful effort in front of goal. Henry will surely come off now. I felt he was tiring. That's how sometimes that's shown, his tiredness. A bit late in life for Palace to think about playing as a centre-forward, but it's an emergency situation here for United. That's his header on. Now that's Phil Neville to Irwin. Phil Neville again. Here's Gary Neville. Touched on by Giggs. Cruyff. Beckham. But Barnsley are pushing out. Closing Manchester United down. That's a good ball by Beckham. He tries to pick out Teddy Sheringham. Pallister's in the penalty area waiting. So is Giggs. Cruyff's also there. There's the... Oh. And... Sheringham has the shot, Beckham appeals for handball on the cross, that's not been given. Liddell's in there as well now, the substitute. And the pullback finds Redfern, and here's Liddell! Oh, it's a penalty, is it? No, it's not, it's not been given. Bartley chased the referee, but no decision there in their favour from Mike Riley. It was Andy Liddell who appeared to be pulled down, and Manchester United breathe again. Well, that must have been a tight call. End. And it was Andy Little. Well, I tell you what, David, is that man before ball? It certainly is. Yes, indeed. And uh, Mike Riley, a Yorkshire referee from Leeds, I believe, has made a brave decision. Well, it's or easy. Not, not made a brave yeah, decision. Yeah, it's easy here when you see it for the second and third time. It looks, doesn't it, a clear cut penalty from that angle. Barnsley have got to be said to be unlucky. Certainly, that challenge prevented Little getting to the ball, and the ball was not touched. Forward by Phil Neville, the header on, his Giggs! He's got Pallister with him, does he need him? No, he doesn't, Giggs! Watson's made a save! Surely there was a push there, and it hasn't been given, and it's Jordi Cruyff! Well, a Barnsley player was clearly pushed out of the way, and Mike Ryan has got some sorting out to do here. There are well. A magnificent fighting performance by Barnsley. It could even have been better. They had a penalty appeal. Danny Wilson's team turned down in the closing minutes, but they've earned their draw. They've washed away the memory of the 7-0 thrashing. Peter Michael, Michael shakes his head because Barnsley's supporters celebrate the fact that they've earned a replay. Perhaps the last thing that Manchester United wanted, but they have to go back to Oakwell a week on Wednesday, sandwiched between important league games and European commitments. They're heavily now into a fixture congestion, but Barnsley have earned the right after a fighting draw here at Old Trafford. It's Manchester United 1, Barnsley.